And a happy new year, Dodgers Nation. Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. It's going to be a big year for Dodger baseball. So be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel for all the latest Dodgers news, rumors, interviews, podcasts, high videos. You're going to find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and I want all your takes down below in the comments section. Give me all your takes on the Dodgers New Year's resolutions down below in the comments section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So the new year is finally here. Welcome to 2021, Dodgers Nation. Merry New Year! Now, usually around New Year's, that's when we start looking forward to the upcoming season. Spring training is right around the corner, and we start to convince ourselves that this year is our year. And for the last 32 seasons before 2020, the Dodgers were the ones that were dropping the ball at some point point during the season well not last year last year was the Dodgers year Roberts. That's one strike three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020 and look, let's be honest. So many things in the world were not right off the field in 2020, but on the field, things couldn't have gone much better for the Los Angeles Dodgers. They signed Mookie Betts to a 12-year, $365 million contract, and they ended the World Series drought. That was pretty much a perfect year if you're the Dodgers. And of course, the Astros could have been stripped of their World Series title, but that's another story. But for the most part, it was a perfect season, a dream season for your boys in blue. But look, we're going to be reliving this title for years to come. The Glory isn't fading anytime soon, but it's time to defend that title. And as great as the Dodgers are, there's always ways you can improve. So we've got some New Year's resolutions. I actually have one myself. I'm actually trying to read more next year, so I'm going to be watching all the Dodger games in subtitles. And my other resolution in 2021 is to find a way to go to a baseball game. I don't care if it's Little League or Dodger Stadium. I have to see a live baseball game in 2021. But we're going to start right at the top of the order, the catalyst of the Blue Crew, Mookie Betts. Now, my resolution for Mookie Mookie Betts is find a way to hit lefties again because last season he was outstanding. He finished second in the MVP voting right behind Freddie Freeman, but he did struggle against lefties. He hit 323 against righties and 200 against lefties in the regular season. Then the postseason, he hit 208 against lefties and 340 against righties. Now for his career, he's a 297 hitter against lefties, so he has to find a way to hit South Pauls again. It's going to make this lineup more dynamic, and Mookie Betts is already elite. Top five player in all of baseball, but you think he's good now. Wait till you see him hit lefties. He's going to have his best baseball in front of him in Dodger Blue. And the next, Corey Seager. So 2020 was a Corey Book season for Corey Seager, but 2021, that's his last year with the Dodgers as far as his contract goes. And my resolution for Corey Seager is be bold, go to Scott Boris, say you want to be a Dodger for life, and start and complete those extension talks. Sign an extension with the Dodgers before the season starts. Look, we saw last year that when healthy, he He's a top 10 player in all of Major League Baseball. NLCS MVP, World Series MVP. That's all you have to say. This guy is an absolute beast. And I want to see that deal done before the season starts. We do not need to have this looming over this team all season long. Look what they did with Mookie Betts last year. They got the deal done before opening day. I know his agent, Scott Boris, doesn't like to ink extensions before his clients test those free agent waters. But I think that with Corey Seager, there's examples of Scott Boris getting deals done in the past. I think he'd be more than willing to begin extensions extension talk so sign Seager get it done now next is Cody Bellinger now you know years are very important to Cody Bellinger his 2017 odd year rookie season he hits 39 belly bombs wins rookie of the year and then in 2018 has a down year 2019 he hits 47 home runs hits 305 at the plate and wins the NL MVP last season he had a down year turned up in the postseason was Cody Clutch in the postseason he stole Fernando Tatis Jr.'s lunch money there in the NLDS. Oh, and he hit one of the biggest home runs in franchise history. One tonight. This time he hits the ball to deep right field. Cody Bellinger has done it. And the Dodgers lead in game seven. An atomic belly bomb for the ages. Now, good news for Cody Bellinger is 2021 is an odd year. So I look for him to have another explosive season to get close to that MVP player that he was in 2019. And my resolution for him is don't mess with that stance. Don't tinker with that stance. Just do what you do best. Look, slug or slug, and that's what we need from Cody Bellinger. Don't worry about hitting 305 like you did in your 2019 MVP season. Go up there, give us 260 to 280 with 30-plus bombs, and we'll take it. 
and a bonus resolution for Bellinger. Don't do those shoulder bumps. You saw what happened. You've had your shoulder dislocated on three different occasions. Just go with the foot bump from here on out. So all I want is for Cody Love to be the Bellinger that we know and love in 2021. And the next is Max Muncy. So Max Muncy, he finished with the team lead in walks with 39, but also with strikeouts. He went down swinging 60 times last year. That was the most of any Dodger. And my New Year's resolution for Max Muncy is get on the good side of the umpires. For whatever reason, they were not giving him the calls last year. I mean, it got so bad, he was ejected in his September 11th game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Then toss your effing cell for that effing performance. So I don't know if he's got to get them all PS5s or edible arrangements or some fresh umpire hats, but he's got to get on the good side of umpires in 2021. Next, we've got A.J. Pollock. So a breakout regular season for Pollo. He had 16 home runs, tied for the team lead, ends up hitting 276. Then the postseason, a much better showing than that 2019 disaster series against the Nationals, where he struck out 11 times in 13 at-bats. He ends up hitting 220 with just two extra base hits for the entire 2020 postseason. So I want to see him have a breakout postseason in 2021. So that's my resolution for Pollo. I want to see postseason Pollock be a thing this October. And the next, Chris Taylor. So Chris Taylor had a really nice 2020 campaign. He ends up hitting 276, but what really stood out was that on-base percentage. It was a new career high and that walk rate. At 12.2%, his previous best was 9.1, set back in 2018. And another number you always look at with Chris Taylor is that strikeout rate. Last season, it was 25.7%. That's definitely low for Chris Taylor. It was his best since 2017, but in the postseason, that went all the way up to 38%. So my resolution for Chris Taylor is try to keep that strikeout rate as low as you can, keep it as low as you can the regular season and in the postseason. But his positional versatility makes him valuable. With Kike Hernandez likely gone, he's going to be stepping up in that utility man role once again this year. So keep that strikeout rate low in 2021. And the next is Edwin Rios. So my resolution for Rios is to become a more dynamic hitter at the plate. His home runs per at bat is currently sitting at 10.25. 12 of his 32 hits in his major league career are home runs. That's 38% of his hits coming via the long ball. And here at Dodgers Nation, we like to call him Babe Rios as a nod to the Sultan of Swat. Sultan of Swat. The king of crash. The colossus of clout. The colossus of clout. Well, 25% of Babe Ruth's hits came via the dinger. So so for Edwin Rios, it's okay to hit the occasional single or double, take a walk here and there. So next season, I want to see him mix it up a little bit, but I want to see him out there. Look, he's got some positional versatility. You could throw him at third, first, put him in the outfield. I want to see more Rios in 2021. And the next, Will Smith. So Will Smith, you saw what he did last year with the stick. He actually had the highest OPS on the team at 980. You saw that home run he hit in Game 5 of the NLCS. He was clutch in the postseason. But my resolution for him is continue to grow as a game caller. You saw that sequence there with Pedro Baez in Game 4 of the World Series. You want to see him continue to build chemistry with the pitching staff. So become a better game caller. He's on track to be one of the best catchers in baseball. But keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to be one of the best catchers in this millennium. Then Austin Barnes. So Austin Barnes, my New Year's resolution is move in with Mookie Betts. He started the year 2 for 22, started hanging out with Mookie Betts, getting some tips, getting some pointers, then goes on an eight-game winning streak, has the big hit there in the postseason to knock out Blake Snell. So it was a really big help. The Dodgers were 4-0 and when he was behind the plate in the World Series. So just continue to improve as a hitter because if he does that, he's such a great game caller. The pitchers love him. So the better he is with the bat, the more we're going to see him behind the plate. And the next, Gavin Lux. So my resolution for Gavin Lux is to trust the process and just become a better bat-to-ball hitter. You saw last season, he led the team with strikeout percentage at 27 and a half. He's still that elite prospect. Just trust the process. He's still young. I still believe in Gavin Lux. And the next is Matt Beatty. So the hitman's role really took a hit in 2020, did not get the opportunities that he was getting in 2019. But my resolution for him is make the most of his opportunities in 2021. Whenever he gets in there, Show this team that you can get big hits. We know you can smoke it with the bat. I want to see him get more opportunities in 2021. So stay ready, Matt Beatty. He appeared just two of 
the Dodgers' 18 postseason games, those two blowout games against the Braves. You end up getting hit twice in a game, but stay ready, Matt Beatty. Make the most of your opportunities next season. And the next, the starting pitcher. So first, Walker Buehler. My resolution for Butane this year is to get off to a fast start. In 2019, he had a 5-2-2 ERA through March and April. Then last season, didn't throw very much during the break. And to start things off, he had a 4-9-1 ERA in July and a 4-2-2 ERA in August. Was dealing with that blister. I want to see him have a really nice offseason and get off to a fast start. And the next, Clayton Kershaw. So my only resolution for Kersh is to stay healthy and continue to increase the velo on that heater. Last season, it was up 1.3 miles per hour. You saw the impact it had in the regular season and the postseason. But the reality with Kershaw, he doesn't have to pitch another game to be considered an all-time great. To me, it's right off into the sunset, win a couple more World Series rings, but stay healthy this season. And the next, the Dodgers postseason legend, Julio Urias. So my resolution for the Urias is to get off to fast starts and put those first inning woes behind him. Last season, had a nine ERA in the first frame. He's got to put that behind him, come out strong. He was really a different pitcher when he started going with that curveball. And I think this is the year that he puts it all together and establishes himself as an elite starter. And the next, Dustin May. So my resolution for D. May is to get deeper into games in 2021. I want to see him pitch in that seventh inning as a starter. He went to the six and pitched six strong on three different occasions last year, but I want to see him go into that seven, get deeper into games, and also increase that strikeout rate. He had a 7.1 strikeouts per nine. With his filthy stuff, I want to increase that number, but I want to see Dustin Mania in 2021. And the next, Tony Gonsolin, the great cats be. My resolution for him is I want to see him get more cats. No, my real resolution for him is I want to see him pitch better in the postseason. You saw what he did in the regular season. He had a 2-3-1 ERA, a 183 ERA plus, but those walks went up in the postseason. He had a 1.4 walks per nine in the regular season, then an 8.9 and a 9 in the NLCS in the World Series. So correct those command issues, and I think the cat man will be back in 2021. And then David Price. So David Price, my resolution is one, play baseball this year and also get back to being that number three starter. So my resolution for him is to pitch well enough to be a number three starter in this rotation. Find a way to have a vintage David Price year. I'm not asking for a Cy Young year like back in the day, but have a very effective year. I want to see him come back strong, come back healthy and contribute to this team. And now we're going to run through the bullpen. So first up, Joe Kelly. So Joe Kelly, my resolution, stay on the mound in 2021. Missed a lot of games with that shoulder inflammation, with the suspension, which I was okay with considering what he did. And also, be sure to call your sons more in Houston. And the next is Kenley Jansen. So a quality regular season for Kenley. Had his lowest ERA, his highest strikeout rate in years, but that walk rate was definitely alarming. 8.8%. That was his highest since 2011. And the velo dip on that cutter went all the way down to 90.9. So that's really my resolution. Try to improve that walk rate. Try to get that cutter velo back. And if not, try to mix in some other pitches. But Kenley Fournier likely heading into his last year with the Dodgers. I want to see him finish strong in his legendary Dodger career. And the next probably other than Mookie Betts, the most popular new Dodger last season, Bruce Dar Gratterall. Everyone fell in love with Bazooka, and it was because the guy has a bazooka. He consistently can throw 99 to 100 miles per hour. Last season posted 309 ERA, a .90 whip. But his resolution for me is continuing to develop that punch-out pitch to put away hitters with that slider, because last year his strikeouts per nine, that sat at five, and then also improve against lefties, because righties, they were hitting 164 off him. Lefties, they were hitting 360. So I think he's got a bright future. He's got some things to improve upon, but there's no doubt the LA loves the bazooka. And then next, Victor Gonzalez, one of my favorite Dodgers right now. He was an absolute boss last season. It was all thanks to that slider. They could not touch that slider from Victor Gonzalez. He threw it almost 36% of the time. Hitters were two for 32 against it. And you know that's going to be his go-to pitch. But my resolution for Vigon is to continue to expand that repertoire, work on that changeup, work on that four-seamer, because he's one of the best relievers on the team. And we've got a few more. So Dylan Floro, to me, I want to see him get back to that 2018 level that he was at. I want to see him increase that strikeout rate, get it close to 10. He was big there coming in the clincher to get a Rosarena. And then Adam Cleric. Adam Cleric, you know what his resolution is going to be. Try to find a way to be more effective against righties. 
Lefties were hitting 77 against them. Righties were hitting 286. So I want to see Kaleric become a our loogie this next upcoming season. For my last New Year's resolution, I'm going to go with Andrew Freeman. Now, you notice I haven't included Justin Turner. That's because he's not a Dodger right now, so I can't make resolutions for him. But Andrew Freeman, my resolution for you is to re-sign Justin Turner. He has to retire in Dodger Blue. So that's my resolution for Andrew Freeman. That and add another right-handed bat, some bullpen help, and hopefully trade for Luis Castillo, possibly. So that's the resolutions this year for your Dodgers. But give me your 2021 Dodgers New Year's resolutions down below in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Head over to DodgersNation.com for our latest Dodgers news. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Happy New Year's, Dodgers Nation. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.